Hey everyone, how's it going? BGM here. So I, I got the computer uh, up and running. At least uh, I can get into the BIOS now. I just want to show a little bit of specs here. And I should check out the, the temperature. It's only 23 degrees Celsius. Um, CPU temperature, motherboard temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. Um, quite a big jump from the um, from the FX 8320, which was always running up around 60 degrees Celsius. Um, I think I need to get a better cooler for that one. Anyway, there's the um, specs on the... Uh, the motherboard, the i7 uh, A700K, it's at 3.70 gigahertz, so 16 gigs of memory. Um, there's some stuff I can do probably to overclock if I wanna um, up some things a little bit more. It is set at the 3000 uh, for the speed, but I could probably do the, uh, I don't know what this AID64 um, memory boost is. It's just, it's on auto. Anyway, the problem I'm having is I can't um, log into Windows. I had this happen before where, you know, you get into the Windows, to the Windows screen and you, you put, um, you put your pin in and it says pin, not, can't reset your pin, password doesn't work. I've had this happen before. Uh, apparently it's a pretty big, it's a pretty big um, problem because uh, there's lots of YouTube videos on it, lots of forums on it. Uh, people have, people having problems. Uh, I got it fixed before. I don't remember what I did. Uh, I've got four hard drives in this computer, so I'm trying to, uh, I don't remember which one though has the operating system on it, but I think I have a pretty good idea uh, because of the way the other hard drives aren't letting me get into uh, command prompt. They're not letting me get into uh, system disk recovery. Now I do have a, um, I do have a uh, backup disk made, the Windows recovery, whatever. But you have to be logged into Windows before the recovery uh, disk, excuse me, before the recovery CD can be used. And this one doesn't work either. It's command prompt. It says choose an account to continue. I do that. I, I, I put my password in, which is kind of long because I, you know, someone keeps trying to hack into my account um, again. So I had a long password for this, but I'll put it in real quick just so you can see. But... Well, you can't see the password, but I don't care. It doesn't work anyway. I hit beep, and then I hit continue, and I get passwords incorrect. I know it's correct. So then I got those two I don't have um, access to. So I have to reboot it and then um, try to do the uh, hold down the shift and then the power button. After it comes up, reboot it. Try and get into either recovery or the um, uh, command prompt. Try and get back into command prompt to do administrator mode to change the password and leave it blank. That's I think that's what I did before. I just got to get into command prompt to erase the um, the password or get into the registry editor, which I've been trying to do too. Um, and um, you can go into the registry editor and take out, I guess, a password file or something. I, I've tried it before. I don't remember what I did. And see, look, I, I couldn't even do Windows... Um, <laughs> Windows setup. I, I was going to try to see if it would uh, let me reinstall Windows. It doesn't even let me reinstall Windows. I can't do the uh, uh, keep all your files. I could try the um, erase everything on the hard drive option, but I don't want to do that. I'd rather... Um, oh, here we go. Okay, let's see. I go next. Now, if, if I do repair computer, that doesn't work either. I try install now and I get this um, Windows file not found, but I'm pretty sure I have the right hard drive. Same, I have the right hard drive selected. Could not collect information for OS emissions. The specified file install.wim does not exist. I tried pair your computer. Uh, here we go, troubleshoot. All right, so let's see if I can get, so I'm done. I, 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 I need any command prompt. I'll try to restore image recovery. Let's see if it'll, see if it'll let me in. Oh, there we go, okay, there we go. So I'm gonna try this again. I'll, I'll let everybody know if it works. Because you're supposed to go cancel, and you go next, and you go advanced, and then here's where you, you go install a driver, and this is where I have to uh, this is where I have to go into here, uh, PC, uh, C drive, whatever. Now, I'm pretty sure C drive is the one that has my operating system on it. It could be D though too, because both of those have the same amount of them. Um, they're both identical hard drives, and there's my two terabyte one there, and there's the F drive there. Now, I, I could disable the other hard drives and go one by one, but that's not really gonna matter because uh, I gotta boot X2. 
uh, I just choose one hard drive at a time. And if it doesn't let me get to a certain point, then I know Windows is not on that hard drive. So anyway, I'll let everybody know. I'm going to try this again, see if I can get this up and running. But that's why I haven't been able to play anything on the computer yet. It's, I've, I've been locked out again of Windows 10, being able to log in at the login screen. So if anybody has any ideas, um, please let me know in the comments. If, if you've been locked out, how did you reset your password? How did you bypass it? Because I did it once before, a, a few months ago, and it seems like it took me uh, a couple of days, which I know might sound like a kind of ridic ridiculous. Um, but uh, anyway, that's uh, how it goes. Uh, yeah, a little bit of my messy cable management. But hey, I got the one, um, I got the one side panel on. It's got two tempered glass side panels too, which is nice. But I'm loving this thing. Super quiet. Can't hear nothing, can you? All right, that's going to do it, everyone. I'll see you later.